right, so you know the trend right now is older women dating much younger guys. And I say, get it, girl. Angel is 44 years old and has been dating a 29-year-old for four years. It sounds exciting, right? But she refuses to let him move in with her. Let's see why. Please welcome Angel to the show. Wow! Oh, wow, mama! Oh my God, how... You better walk out <laughs> well... in confidence and purpose, okay? <laughs> So, you look beautiful. Well, thank you. So great to meet you. So, why are you here today? So, I'm here because I met this gentleman um, four years ago. We've been dating. Um, I would see him out, but I was in a relationship, but I noticed how um, he made people feel safe when, he, when they were around him. He had a lot of respect. Finally, I became single, and he made sure I was completely single, and he reached out to me. Yeah, um, and we just, I like he this. definitely has morals. So, we started this relationship, a friendship first. Um, I, I respect him. I love him. He's so sexy. And he takes me to the moon every day. The moon. I go to the moon, baby. The moon. He takes me to the moon. And I've been wanting to go to the moon. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Neil Armstrong. All you right, this see. is some real life, you okay, know. Yeah. I've been wanting to go to the moon my whole life. And I finally <laughs> found this man. I respect him. I look up to him. He leads me. But he's, he's not good with his money. So he makes a lot of money. His company is very, you know, profitable, but he's got the biggest heart. I love it. It's very attractive. Yeah. But being attractive and being prepared for the future is two different things. I've been there and done that. You he has not. That. Yeah. Um, How long have been dating? Because that's the So we've been dating for four years. Four years. Just want to make sure. Yeah, we've been dating okay. for four years, and that's the problem. So we're now getting serious. <laughs> Beautiful couple. <laughs> That's my baby. You look about 29, too. Okay. Well, yes. you know, and that's, that's where we get it misconstrued today. Uh, yes. Because, you know, I look younger, but I have, you know, a lot of, um, a lot of experience. I've been there before where you ignore and make this fantasy of this man. Yeah, so I don't want to do that with him. So, um, basically, he just gives money to everybody. Everyone. Everyone. So you say he gets a lot of money. How much money is he actually giving? So I calculated $2,000 in one week. One week? Gave, one week. He gave $2,000 out in one week to And so people. what is his reasoning for saying that he's giving this money out? Just because if someone says, I need it, he's giving it? Pretty much. Wow. Um, and my friends are like, well, you know, he does that for you too, but I'm his lady. Yes. And I'm not going to take advantage of him. Um, I do want to move further. I do want to move, you know, I live in a penthouse. He ain't moving to my penthouse. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're going to have to get another house. Um, you maybe, you know, you might lose your job. You might get hurt. I have five strings of income. I need you to have more than one. And we need to be saving and put in a 401k. Yeah. Build another business. Makes sense. Makes sense. Right. Makes sense. You're trying to grow a future together. I'm trying to go right. So how often do you two argue about money? We talk about it like at least three or four times a week because people just hit him up. I'm not a big arguing type. He's not either. So I just let him do his thing. But the more you're going, I love you. Um, I don't want to lose you. You're bringing things into my life that I've never had before. I, I don't want you to get lost in the sauce because yeah. I will leave. Okay, I will, <laughs> I will leave. Yeah. I will. Um, because I don't want to ignore that. And I really, he's like my best friend. I never had a best friend and a partner yeah. before. Aww. I've never had a best friend. Mm. I've never had a partner. I never had anybody that could keep you feel this energy, baby. Yeah. Do exactly. you feel this energy? Yeah. I have never had anybody that could keep up with that. I could be like, babe, let's go do this. Well, he's 29, baby. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. He's he, ready to go. He got the energy he ain't too. He got no kids. He got no, he, he's ready to go. Yes. Um, and I never thought I would date somebody his so age. So he doesn't have any kids? He does not have any That's kids. Good. Do you have any kids? I do have kids. Okay, then great. So, so is there any issue with that? There's no issue with that. He's just a leader. So yeah. does he want children? He does. He does. You just said there's no issue with that. So you said... Well, it's not an issue because he brought it up at the beginning. I said, I'm not. Uh -huh. He said, well, you know, I understand, like, if you just want to travel and you want to live your life, you've been there and done that. But deep down, I think eventually he's going to want a baby. Got it. So is that this other serious issues in the relationship? Is there any other serious issues in the That's relationship? That's just those two things. Just that one okay. hasn't came up yet, but it's stewing. You've been together for four years. Do you see a long-term future with him? I, I really yeah. do. Um, because, again, I respect him so much. For me, to be a submissive woman, I have to respect you. Of course. I have to trust you. I have to feel safe. Um, and he d provides all that. That's yeah. been missing a lot. Because I, you know, it, for like my feminine, a feminine energy drops if I don't have the right leader. Because then I, I feel know. like, well, I better do it because he ain't going to do it right. I don't want to be like that. When I'm with him, I'm like, I don't know nothing. Okay. Ask him. I'm <laughs> yeah, tired of yeah, knowing stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he allows me to do that. Yeah. So I see the future, but... But me seeing the future and not paying attention to what will hold me back from saying, I do, I will, let's do it, is that you cannot be giving all our money away. Makes sense to me. Well, listen, Angel is 44 and Solo is 29. We've heard about what Angel wants out of the relationship, but what about Solo? I think it's time to find out. Everyone, please welcome Solo to the show. Y'all <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Uh, and listen, I saw you moving real close. Oh, How yeah. much do you love this woman? I love her a lot. Yeah. yeah. She, yeah, she brings out a lot in me, man. So I definitely love her a lot. Um, so how does it make you feel when she talks about the fact that you're giving out this money? I kind of get a little irritable. It's part of my love language, honestly. I come from the hood. What we end up doing is if one of us was down, we looked out for one another. So I remember where I come from. So when I see a lot of people, when I see a lot of people go through things, uh, then I just be wanting to help them out. Yeah. You know, I do. It I makes talk sense. About this. But at the same time, your woman, I get it. I, I understand. I appreciate the fact of you giving back. Yeah. But if your woman is saying there's an issue with the amount of money you've given, why is it holding you? Why are you not able to hear what she's saying? I actually, I do. I do hear it. Because two thousand dollars. She said I you do. gave away two thousand dollars in one month. I mean, one week. One week. Yeah. That's a lot of money to give away in one week. Yeah, I mean, you is. got it. <laughs> but that don't mean everybody else got to get it. Right. 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 I mean, I don't know. I feel like if I got it and I can help, you know what I mean? I'm going to do what I can do. Got it. Okay. I feel like they definitely taking advantage. Yeah. Straight up. They all be like, oh, we ain't got no food. Call him. So, so this is just activity from you. So $60 here, $105 there, $196 there, $60 there. These are all different people. Yeah. So everyone just knows that they can come to you and ask for money. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is just a whole walking bank right here. <laughs> Not a walking bank. You <laughs> just hit my babe up and just be like, my kids need some pampers. I need my hair. Not my, I need my hair done, but it has to be, you know, stuff. Yeah. They don't say a baby uh, yeah. or a senior. He got you. So you arguing about money how often? Oh, man, a few times a week. Or really, really, whenever I see, see me spend the, or send the money out. He be sneaking. Yeah. <laughs> and, and giving people money. <laughs> my gosh. Is that causing an issue for you in the sense that she's telling you, like, this is holding me back for the future? Yeah, it's a little, it's a little scary. He acting kind of serious right now about it, but when we talk about this at home, and, I, and he'll be like, man, I got it, as long as I got it, my, as long as I'm breathing, I got it, we got it. He like yeah. laughing, playing, hit you on the booty, and I'll be like, okay, <laughs> and all that stuff. But like, he's acting serious, but he, he's playing. He really still constantly does it, and I don't think he realized, like, you make me feel so secure in a lot of ways. I yeah. told you that you are my best friend. I told you that I respect you, I follow you. Um, but that's the one thing that will keep me from being 100% submissive to you because we can't be growing and everybody in the hood got all our money. So you own your own business. Tell me how you started it. Basically, I was 22 years old, met a guy who owned his, or he was actually writing his uh, business plan mm -hmm. uh, at a juvenile detention center. I would see him just working on his MacBook. Then I eventually I asked him like, hey, you know, what, what are you doing on your MacBook? And he was like, man, I'm starting a business plan. Now we're 22 at this time. He gave me a little bit of information and said, what you good at? I said, man, I'm good at protecting people. And he was like, all right, start a security business. Took off with it myself. Like, I just, good you know, job. yeah. I mean, it's so interesting that one, <laughs> one moment shifted your whole life to a path where you're actually now sustaining yourself at such a young age, especially in black folks. They don't teach us like, hey, you know, you can start a business very early on. But I also believe that you do love this woman and you want to have a future with her. Most and definitely. she's telling you, look at this, she got on yeah, your shoulder. She's telling you that the money is an issue that you're giving away. And even though it's noble, you're giving it away. What is life like without her? It would honestly be different. Um, because when, you, when you've been with somebody for so long, you mold your life around that person. But I used to have, you know, the hood mindset to where I wasn't as outgoing as I am now. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a lot, though, she's actually brought out of me. You said the hood mentality growing up. What was life like growing up for you? Single mother, four siblings, a uh, father that, I don't know, you know, I think he has some things going on within himself in the, in the, in the divorce that they had. So mm -hmm. I became the man of the house at a young age. Yeah. You know, when you're young and you're trying to figure out, you know, manhood without the guidance, you kind of start trying to put yourself around other boys, and that's what I did. We had the negative type of, you know what I mean, like people that would be in our ears like, Hey, man, sell this. Like, here, sell this. You'll make some money. And so we kind of went off with that. Got into hustling. Some other things. Yeah, uh, you know I what I mean? Some other things. Some other things. Some other things. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it kind of uh, escalated to where, uh, man, we got into, like, you know, fights, uh, you know, seeing some robberies, uh, seeing some shootings, retaliation. So this, I, I asked you that because it gives me context even more about why you're giving. So I have to ask you, what did you receive during that time? Uh, honestly, the only thing I can say I received is just knowledge. I want to know, you want to marry this woman. Do you also want to start a family with her? Because she brought up earlier that kids might be an issue. No, I really don't think it's an issue. I did talk to her about wanting kids and whatnot, and she was like, I'll give you a baby. You know what oh. I'm saying? Wait a minute. Hold on. So <laughs> you just told me you said, no, you're not doing it. Now Wait we a have... minute. You really want another one? 
I really don't want another one. But when you are married, okay. and if we get married and he sacrifices and does what he needs to do, this man's never had a baby before, we would discuss it. Do you feel like she controls you with money? I don't feel like she controls me. I just feel like, you know what I mean, she just, she shows a lot of concern. Good. Yeah, not Because I see that as well. I see that as concern as well. Yeah. I don't see that as control at all. And I also don't, I think that the communication here is pretty great. I think the thing for me that we need to realize is that um, if you really do see a future with her, is that you got to take accountability for how your actions today are going to be stopping you from having the future you want tomorrow. Because y'all are a beautiful couple. Like, I just love y'all together, right? They're the, the couple goals. What do you think it's going to take? For you to, okay, black love, there we go. Um, ready, y'all, ready? Angel, do you have an ultimatum for um, Solo Day? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, what's the ultimatum? Say it right now. Yeah, say it right now. What's the ultimatum? Oof. You know, I don't, I don't want to lose you. You know, again, we both feel that we have, um, we just stumbled into each other's life. I love you, I respect you. Uh, but for me to be the woman that you really want, and like you always say, like, oh, I want people to come and go out of my life. I don't want to be that. And yeah. so I have been there where 10 or 15 years later, I'm like, dang, I wish I would have did this. You haven't did that yet. Right. And so if we keep going the way we're going as far as the finances, I'm not going to feel safe and secure financially with us moving out of my penthouse, getting another house and getting married. When you're dishing out this money, we can't know where we're going, where we're investing in. Mm -hmm. um, and so we haven't really talked about what's going to happen if you know you don't stop doing that. But for me, I feel like um, I'm not going to be able to be with you. I'm not, I'm not. I don't want to say that, but I'm just saying, like, um, I did that before. Then I have to leave that person because that's still bothering me. And I don't want that to happen, but I'm not doing it. Most definitely. So, I mean, I mean it's, the communication, like I said, between you, I believe, is really great. And I can also tell you an attentive listener, which I appreciate. She's gotcha. just telling you that she <clears throat> wants to feel secure. And right now, the fact that you're giving away money is not making her feel secure for the future. I don't think it let make any of us feel secure. I don't care how much money you make. Um, I know that you have a thriving business. I can see why you have a thriving business. But I also think that you're mature enough and strong enough to realize that you do want a better tomorrow. Would the young boy who had to take care of his mom, could he have imagined the life of yesterday with this beautiful woman and having a business? Mm -hmm. Couldn't have. Couldn't have. Why couldn't he have imagined that? Honestly, I didn't think I was going to live this long. Exactly. So, yeah. So I say that to say, because I already, I know this. Yeah. When you have a childhood where you don't even know if you're going to live that long, if you don't know what's going to happen, it does rewire your brain into, well, everything's about the media, because what's tomorrow? I don't know if tomorrow's there. And even though you're mature and you've gotten out of it, you also still work in a position that is to some degree dangerous. You're, yeah. you're protecting people, yeah. which means you're always having to put yourself in front of somebody else to be protected, which again triggers that little boy who says, well, what about tomorrow? So let me help who I can help today. But what you have to start practicing as the man you are today is to say, even though I'm in this position where I protect other people, I must protect myself and I must protect my, my woman because we do have a future. Right. You have to actually actively wake up and say to yourself, I see myself at 90 years old. Yeah. Have you ever said that to yourself? Like, I see myself at 90? No. Nah. Yeah. I can believe yeah. it. I want to know. It's like a weird conversation because you're working towards it. But there's also trauma from your past that you have to acknowledge and realize it's playing as a symptom in your relationship now of why you're giving out money. Mm -hmm. Right. You've got to start to wake up to yourself and say, I see a future with you, and I see me when I'm 90 years old. Mm -hmm. That is your mm -hmm. mantra. You're going to be like, well, hold up. I'm giving you money. I need that for when I'm 90. I need that for when I... Oh, God. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You start to realize... Plus, she's telling you that she can't handle a future that makes her feel unstable, unsafe. Yeah. You got to make her feel safe. You already do. You do it for everybody else. Right. <laughs> yeah. So make her feel safe. So what's the mantra you're going to say to yourself every morning? I want to see myself at 99 years old. Boom. Oh, 99. Oh, 99. Yeah. Right. Yes. <laughs> you love your woman. And there's yeah, not really a doubt do. about it, but it, it is time, definitely. You made a big leap right now. Even by saying I see myself at 99, because you're just starting to rewire your mind to understand that you don't have to live for today. You can live for tomorrow and the future. And so that's going to stop you from giving that money, all right? But I do tell y'all, this kid stuff going to come back up, so y'all better start talking about that somewhere else. <laughs> most definitely. Oh, see, see? So y'all, most definitely. You better get ready, girl. I don't know you want to... Uh, <laughs>
I don't know what's going on. You better get ready. We'll I know he's taking to the moon, but he want a baby, okay? <laughs> so get your mindset prepared. Okay. Listen, I'm telling you. We'll see what he do, what he needs to do. He gonna we'll, do it. I have we'll faith. He gonna do it. You got faith. I, I got faith. Okay. He gonna do it. Well, I guess we having a baby then. Oh! <laughs> turn on, turn on. Hold on. Where you going? I'll tell you where you're going. Right here to subscribe and right here to watch more. Period.